Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome back to my art channel. And today I'm going to be painting another vase for you. So I've got this beautiful shaped glass vase that I got for a dollar, I think at Walmart. Um, I've got my pouring medium. This is my favorite pouring medium for vases. It's apple barrel pouring medium. Apple barrel pouring medium really is the best medium that I've found for doing vases because the colors really hold their layers and they stay beautiful and clean even on a vertical surface like a vase, which is not true of some other pouring mediums. My colors today, I'm inspired by lilacs and thistles. So lilacs, of course, are this beautiful lilac purple flower on a green bush. Thistles, of course, they're, you know, they're prickly, they're spiky, but they're beautiful. Butterflies love them. It's the national flower of Scotland. So I like both. So I'm using these colors. So I've got this um, gray purple from Master's Touch. Let me see if I can tip it and show you the consistency there. No, not enough in here to show you the consistency. Then I have this ocean green, also from Master's Touch. It's just a beautiful sort of pale mint color. I have spring green from Apple Barrel. And I have this pearl metallic, which is basically metallic white from Blick Studio Acrylics. So when I mix with Apple Barrel pouring medium, I do not have a set ratio of like mix one part paint to one part pouring medium or anything like that. I basically just put paint in a cup and add the apple barrel pouring medium bit by bit until it reaches that nice flowy but somewhat thick. It's a it's like a medium consistency. Not super thick, not super thin. You want it to be able to flow well but also hold its shape well. I'm going to be using this three ounce paper cup. I like a paper cup for doing vases because I can pinch the top and make a nice thin ring pour design. All right, so let's layer up our paints in the cup. And I want basically a full three ounce cup of paint. Three ounces or close to three ounces is pretty comfortable for a vase this size. All right, let's pour this out. So I'm gonna pinch the top of the cup to make a small spout. And I'm just tipping it a bit to get the paint starting to flow around the edges. Just going to take my finger and help the paint spread down over the sides of the vase. These colors are looking absolutely beautiful. The greens and the white and the purple. It's looking really pretty. So I'm going to take what I have left in the cup and pour it in on the top and then that should be enough paint to cover the whole vase.
All right, so this is looking absolutely amazing. The detail on this is beautiful and I love it. And of course, it's gonna have to dry for a while, so I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of days at least before I handle it. When it is fully dry, I will show it to you and then I'll talk through how I go about finishing a vase like this. All right, so I will see you then. All right, here it is. It's all finished. I sprayed it glossy and then I attached this plastic circle on the bottom to make a nice durable base and a glossy durable finish. If you're curious to know how I finish my vases, you can click on this link that's popping up and you can watch my whole tutorial on how I finished this particular vase. All right, thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you'll come back to my channel and watch some of my others. I've got a lot of different vases and paintings and other things so there's a lot to check out over on my channel, and I will see you for the next one. Bye.